Before we talk about Euler's method, we're going to do a recap of something we should already know. Given dy dx equals x squared minus 3 and the initial condition y of 0 equals 3, what is the value of y of 2? This is a simple differential equation, so we can just take the integral of that equation. So integral of x squared minus 3 dx, and we get y of x equals 1 third x to the third plus 3x plus c. And we can evaluate this initial condition, and we can get c, and we end up with this equation here. And then we can just evaluate 2 to find that y of 2 equals 35 over 3. Well, what happens if we're given a more complex differential equation, like dy dx plus 2x equals 1 plus y? If y of 1 equals 2, what is y of 4? We can't really do what we did with the last problem because we don't know how to integrate this to be able to solve this, since there's two variables. We have x and y. So what do we do? That's where Euler's method comes in. Euler's method is a way of approximating this value based on a differential equation. So let's look at the idea behind Euler's method. Usually when we're using Euler's method, we don't know the original shape of our graph since we can't integrate our differential equation, therefore we can't find our original function. But for the sake of explanation, let's say that we do know the shape of our graph. So here we have y of x and an initial point x naught comma y naught. So the idea of Euler's method is that we're going to use this initial condition and we're going to evaluate that into our differential equation and that will give us a tangent line. So let's say we evaluate and we get this tangent line. Already this is an approximation, this can be considered an approximation, but we see that the error gets bigger and bigger as we go along and we don't want that because it's inaccurate and it's not a good approximation. So what we can do, we can use a step size. Let's say our step size is this right here, this interval right here, and we'll call that delta x and we can stop our tangent line right at that point where delta x is. And that gives us a new point. So what we can do is that we can plug those points again into our differential equation and get a new tangent line. And let's say our tangent line will look like this now. And we'll go another step and we'll go up and put a point right there. So while we keep doing this, we're going to get, not closer, but we're going to get a better representation, a better approximation than if we just use one tangent line. So that's like saying we have our y initial plus dy dx times dx, and these will cross out. Remember, our dx is delta x, so we're left with y initial plus dy, which is a change in y, and that will give us our new y. So that's how we get these new points when we evaluate in the differential equation. We can get a formula from this, and that's just y of 1 is approximately the initial y plus the differential equation. I put m because it's kind of like slope. The differential equation evaluated at that initial point times delta x. And y of 1 is just going to be the initial x plus delta x. And so on and so forth. So we get y of 2 is approximately y of 1. You're just evaluating from the last point that you got. So y1 plus the differential equation evaluated at x1, y1 times delta x. And x2 is just that last x plus delta x. And etc, etc. Another thing to note is that looking back at this graph, we see that there's still quite a bit of error between our approximation and the actual function. And just like when we're using Riemann sums with integration, the best way to get a more accurate estimation is to use a smaller step size. So now we're going to look at the original problem we had. dy dx plus 2x equals 1 plus y. If y of 1 equals 2, what is y of 4? Now remember, we can't find the exact value of y of 4, but we can use Euler's method to approximate this value. And we're going to use a step size of delta x equals 1. I'm going to pull up the formula we came up with so we can use that as a reference. And we're going to change this differential equation so that dy dx is on one side. 
left, dy dx equals 1 plus y minus 2x. And now we can use Euler's method. So y1 equals, our first point is 1 comma 2. So our first y value is 2 plus, and we're going to evaluate this point into this for formula. 1 plus 2 minus 2 times 1 is 2. And that equals 3. So while y1 equals 3, x of 1 is going to equal our original x, which is 1, plus the step value, which is 2. And y of 2 equals, and now we're going to take the last point that we found and evaluate it. So the last point we found was 2 comma 3, and now we're going to use that point in the next step of Euler's method. So y2 equals 3 plus 1 plus 3 minus 2 times 2 is equal to 4, and that equals 3. So y of 2 equals 3, x of 2 is, we're going to add another step, so that equals 3. And our new point is 3, 3. And we're not at, we're not at 4 yet, so we're going to do another step. Y of 3 equals 3 plus 1 plus 3 minus 2 times 3 is 6. And this all together equals 1. So x of 3 is going to equal 4 now because we're adding another step. Now we have x equals 4. Therefore, we conclude that y of 4 is approximately 1. And congrats! Now you know how to use Euler's method. See the description below for a practice worksheet to test out how much you've learned.